And now from the Target 12 investigators, a look at how the mayor of Providence is proposing to spend taxpayers' money in the next year. As we brought to you earlier this week, Mayor Alorza has proposed a $540 million city budget, which included an increase to the police department budget in addition to some police reform efforts as well. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado, as you know, covers the capital city, and there really has been quite an increase in spending from last year's budget, right, Steph? That's right, Danielle. I want to show you this chart, in fact, of the municipal budget over Mayor Alorza's tenure since he took office in Providence in 2015. You can see the budgets as enacted by the city Council have gone up every year, but then there's a noticeable uptick at the end there. This year's proposed budget, which the mayor wants to increase by $29 million over the current year. That's about a 5% increase. He's not raising tax rates to do this, though. He's proposing to pay for that increase in part with $16 million from that big windfall from Joe Biden's latest COVID relief bill. This plan might be met with some skepticism since he's growing the budget with one-time money from Congress, but the city council will get their say as they vet this over the coming months. Uh, for sure about that. Now, Steph, the last time you joined us on the morning show, we discussed plans to try to divert non-criminal calls like mental health or addiction services away from police responding. So how did the mayor incorporate that into his budget and what has the reaction been like? Yes, yeah, so the mayor has included $600,000 in his budget proposal for a pilot program to start the process of what they call diversion, which over time could shift the burden of responding to those calls to social service agencies that are better equipped to handle them than police. But in the meantime, Time, the police department's budget is going up by two million dollars. Officers are getting raises and the department is going to get 50 new police officers in this next fiscal year. This isn't new information. The police academy was announced more than a year ago, but recruitment was slowed down and delayed so much due to the pandemic that it's now expected to start next month. And the Black Lives Matter Rhode Island PAC is now expressing frustration with all of this, writing in a statement, quote, Merrill Orr's budget shows what his real priorities are. While investing in diversion programs is a step in the right direction, Alorza is bent on spending nearly five times more on policing than he is on his constituents. For people of color in Rhode Island and across the country, more police are not public safety. They are a threat to their lives. All right, so, well, then how did the mayor explain this increased spending on police? Well, Danielle, he says diverting non-criminal matters away from police won't happen overnight. They're studying it, and in the meantime, they still have to keep the department staffed. Officers retire every year, so more need to be hired. A new academy class also allows the police department to potentially hire more women and people of color into a department that right now is majority white men. You're looking at one of the um, past classes there in that video um, and having a, a a department that does not reflect the racial and ethnic makeup of the city it serves can be an issue. This class will be leaders in the new prevention first model and trained from day one in de-escalation training to better protect and serve our residents. All right, so Target 12 investigator Steph Machado, of course, will be tracking the progression of this massive budget through the city council. And Steph, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.